I was a very shy kid, a very shy uh, children. In the school I didn't have many friends, so usually I studied and had few friends I talked in the in the uh, no, in the class in the free time of between the classes. I was like I was a good student, a little above average, but I wasn't very good. Just a little above average my grades. And no, oh, it was I don't have many memories of my, my school because it was very I I never uh, gave trouble though, to the teachers, to the other kids. Not the nor the the other kids troubled me very much. So it was uh, sometimes I had some good evaluation and the teacher oh no you are doing well, no keep doing this, study, or you have a good future if you study more. But I wasn't the, because I wasn't the most intelligent guy in class, so the teachers didn't pay much attention to me. They preferred to pay attention or to the uh, more intelligent or to the worst. <laughs> because I was in between, they didn't care very much. I studied in my college in Fafipa. It's a local college in my hometown. Uh, so, after I, gradu I graduated from high school, I spent one year studying to enter in this uh, in some college, and I was approved to go to this college. I went to the history. So I was going to study history because it was the, the, the subject I more liked in school. I didn't want to be a doctor, nor to be a lawyer, nor to be an engineer, like my, my family wanted me to do some kind of this, but I didn't like it. I preferred to study something I liked. So I began. Uh, the first year was okay, but uh, I began to have some trouble with my teachers, the quality of education, the, the, infra, the, the, the structure of the college wasn't very good, the library was a chaos. Very few books without absolutely no organization. <laughs> the teachers, like, they came very late to class and uh, you couldn't have a debate with them because they were very close minded. All my teachers were uh, Marxists, you know, communists. Uh, only with one or two of them, you could have a debate, a dialogue. They were open-minded, but most of them, they weren't. If you told them, no, I don't think this is right, they'd say, no, it is, it is. And I began to have trouble, and I began to lose interest in college after the, the first year. So, a couple of years later, I decided to, to drop. I didn't want to finish. Mostly because uh, the only thing I could work after graduating was to be a teacher, a history teacher. And I really didn't want to be a teacher because it's, a teacher's life is very difficult in Brazil. The pay is very small, you have uh, no quality of work. I wanted to, to do some other things. And also I was having trouble with some, with two teachers especially. And I just thought it would be better for me if I dropped college and did something else. Well, the, the most people in Brazil is Catholic, but they don't practice a religion. But uh, it's not uh, like everybody, in there is no law in Brazil saying that people have to be Catholic. There is no official religion. People can believe or disbelieve in wherever they want. And you know, my teachers, uh, all of them, when they were young, young, they had, uh, because they grew up in a time in Brazil was a military dictatorship. And because they were against the dictatorship, they, they began to, to get into these movements uh, uh, that fought the dictatorship. And most of these mov movements 
were leftists, the Marxists and communists. So they just stuck it with this ideology uh, when they went to college and they only read. No, there wasn't only one man. Ah, okay. It was a military dictatorship. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, every four years the, they changed the dictator. It was uh, every four years a new uh, the military chose another general to be the president. So there wasn't only one dictator like in the Argentina or in uh, Chile. Like in Chile, they had Pinochet. Okay. Brazil, uh, for more than 20 years, from 64 to 80. 688, I think, it was ruled by a military dict dictatorship. And most people fighting these dictatorships were communists, like they were trained in Cuba and Russia. So they are trying to destroy one dictatorship, a, a capitalist dictatorship, to make a communist dictatorship. When you think about the Islamic system, you know, the Islamic political, economical and social system, uh, if you know, the, the people saw, studied it and they implemented the system, you know, instead of going from one extreme to the other extreme, then always going to one extreme to another and never having a balance uh, they would find, I believe, they would find a, a very balanced way of life to guide the political and economical and social uh, lives of a society. Uh, because the most advanced society, uh, especially in terms of spiritual life, was the time of the Prophet wasallam. If we study this time, if we study the time of the four first uh, Hilafa and the, the, the lives, the time of the, the big uh, Islamic governments, the big Islamic empires like Salahuddin Ayyubi, the Ottoman Empire, and people try to implement this in their countries instead of going from one extreme materialism, and capitalism and socialism. I think the world could have a better future. Yeah, after the university, I uh, stayed one year without, not one year, I stayed a couple months uh, without you know, studying, without job. Then I began to work uh, for my municipal government. There was official go uh, official job that two years ago I had applied, but there were no vacancies. And a few months after I dropped college, uh, I was called. I thought they would never call me to work, but they called me to, to begin to work. And I was placed to work in the job agency of my city. And I, so, that was my job. I was responsible for basically two functions. Uh, to search jobs for other people and also to apply for their unemployment insurance. Uh, so if a person wanted a, a job, he was unemployed, he would come to me, you know, to the office of the job agency. I would do his paperwork, you no. Know, his abilities, his education, and, and I would search if there was a vacancy, if there was a job that matched his you know, professional abilities, and try to, to help him to get this job. And I would also uh, apply for people unemployment insurance. Somebody was fired from this job, I would check the paperwork to see if he had rights to the insurance. So that was my job. I worked there 
for one year, one year and two months.